Hello and welcome back to Rome Total Reels and Imperium Seractum. I've got good news and I've got bad news. The good news is, as you may already be able to tell, I've upgraded my mic and a lot of the minor sound issues that I've had in the past are gone. And in addition, I do think the mic does sound a little bit nicer. It's mostly that the lows aren't going to be there anymore. The lows as in qualitatively, not as in like the low end of the sound spectrum. That would be very bad if that's what I meant. And I've also got a new chair. And as everyone knows, the power of your gaming chair directly relates to how good you are at strategy games. So that will also help probably. The bad news is this is going to be the final episode of this Rome playthrough. And a lot of that's to do with the fact that I'm super hyped for 0.6. Because realistically, what comes after the African Theater of War? What are we doing next? Well, I don't really consider it to be this, right? This is going to happen more or less simultaneously. One second, let me change the setting. I found out there's a setting you can turn on where you can see the income of these settlements without actually clicking on them. I like that so much. It makes it so much easier for me to compare settlements in terms of value. I love having that on. Anyway, what I was saying is I don't consider this to be next. It's sort of happening already, and it's also just not that hard. It's going to be against the Antigonids and whoever rose to power amongst the smaller kingdoms, right? And that is the focus of 0.6, is revamping this area. I'm less interested in painting the map red because I know the map's changing so much in the near future. For now, I want to do the one thing remaining to be done to prove this start work. Because, yeah, there's a lot of refinement I could have done. When I play this again in 0.6, months and months down the line from now, I'm going to do much better in the opening. I'm very sure of that. But the main thing where this is not an already won campaign is we have to prove that this legion can tear apart like three or four stacks of desert armies. Because Numidia and Carthage both have multiple stacks in the neighborhood, and until we deal with this, I don't really feel like the campaign's properly finished. Now, because they're allied and this stack's small enough that it's going to retreat into the city and Carthage will defend the city, it's sort of a nightmare to try to deal with what's going on here. We'd actually much rather look around for a different target to attack, and this is the largest group of units I can find that I can pick off without being next to these two stacks. So I'm going to come down here. Let me try that again without actually clicking on the city this time. I'm going to come down here and lay siege to this settlement and try to get a better fight against one group next turn as opposed to both groups this turn. And that reminds me, having moved that spy, that we should probably bring this spy. He doesn't look like he's going to last too much longer, but we should still bring him back. And this is yet another Carthaginian stack. There's just a lot of them walking around. Don't worry about it. Now, the rest of this turn was already handled last time. I previously thought I was going to start with the climactic battle, but having been like a week i loaded back and i was like how do i plan on fighting this these guys are allied they're gonna go in the city it's definitely better to go down here we'll fight them over the coming turns but not just yet and before i hit end turn i'm gonna quickly go check the first part of this video make sure that my sound settings are as good as i thought they were in testing and then we'll hit end turn and see if anyone mounts a defense against rome between turns so while i was editing part one i remembered that i just have elephants in this army what am i doing i can just attack the settlement now Additionally, I remembered that this city doesn't have a garrison, but it's fine. It also doesn't have anything else. It's making, let's change the settings real quick. It is making 600 gold in turn. So like losing 600 gold for one turn won't matter that much. We'll conquer it back later. It's just a really effective distraction right now. That's what it is. Anyways, let's attack the settlement, I guess, because we can. I didn't really think this through. They have some very advanced jab cab, some basic guys. Do I have to do this? 200's kind of a lot, given the current circumstances. I think I might have to do this. It's weird that it feels like a real army. Not used to that yet. Anyway, let's see if all the elements just get killed by javelins before they bring down the walls. This might not actually be doable in a real fight. It looks like we're free to run a lot further up, though. It looks like our elephants aren't getting murdered over the wall, so I guess it's fine. Anyway, I'm going to need more than one hole in the wall, because they have enough infantry units that it's problematic. Come on, guys. I believe in you, elephants. Is this one doing it? There we go. And the real question is if I want to walk around all the way to the other side. Wait, is there even a second gate? Yeah, there's one over here. Because I might want to get my cavalry in on a flank, and the elephants aren't going to be relevant. Like, I know they're not. I'm actually going to have these equitations back off entirely. I don't plan on using them today. And we're going to route this elephant all the way around. Wait, is that not how you route? Is it alt? I thought it would be shift. Is it control? How on earth do you route? Because apparently I don't know how to do it. And that seems very important. Like, I pause, so it doesn't really matter that I can't route, but it would definitely be helpful if I could. Anyway, we're going to pull out some of our cavalry to come around on a flank. Yeah, so having come this way, we pulled away a little bit of their light infantry, and they don't have enough to begin with. They only have the two units. So this on the whole will be very helpful. So we have two units of javelins here, one unit of light infantry, and one unit of chav-cav. They're clearly spread a little bit thin, huh? 
And we're just being thorough. We're breaking down one more hole in the wall so we can get the best possible opening. But we're going to do probably. Actually, we're ready to go now. So let's set this up. We're gonna take our break of pace. Three here. Three here. Four here. Got to the cavalry on the other side. You guys run in if you can. If you can't, it's fine. I'm gonna back off on one of them. I know I won't have time to get all of them to the gate, but if we can just get through, this will be very relevant for dealing with those javelin men in a second. Nope, pathfinding's too bad. We can't do it. That's fine. We're still gonna do great in the skirmish phase. You guys all in range to throw? You're still running because you got confused at the start. And we're gonna do great in the cavalry phase, or the skirmish phase rather. Cavalry phase tried and failed to happen, unfortunately. Run in. Run in. Run in. We've thrown a good chunk of our pylum. They've started repositioning. Let's get everyone inside. I know we're gonna win in the meat grinder. Move our general and the cavalry up. They won't really be relevant. These guys are still just hanging out. Our soldiers have done well this day. The walls are taken. Alright, you guys come this way. I imagine they're just winning. I don't think the Numidian cavalry stand much of a chance here. You come in. Thanks, elephants. I'm glad you told me about that. Super helpful. It actually did include some information I wasn't aware of. If we jump over here, these cavalry are good to come in now. And that means they're good to charge all the way around to here. Now, as for the rest of this, how are we doing? We're winning on all fronts. That's not super surprising, to be honest. Uh, the general is here. I don't imagine it's super helpful for them. If I charge in with some cavalry here, I'm not going to use my general for the small chance that they die. I will move up on my general for the morale bonus, though. Technically, I'm being flanked, but I don't think it's going to go well for them. And technically, I'm being outnumbered, but the Franken base don't care. Oh, maybe that was the king. That's rough. Uh, that's going to get crushed in the back by cavalry relatively soon. Elephants, you guys can chill. You guys can run in and just form up. Oh, you fight here. I mean, if they want to die, just dogpile it. All the javelin men should be dead shortly. Fall back. Set up your pylon line again. What is this? Anybody in light, I think. They're just really damn confident in themselves, incorrectly so, but still, it's kind of impressive. Oh, is my cavalry not even going to get here? Yeah, they broke before the cavalry got here. Damn shame. Oh, apparently this guy managed to get himself killed. Good job, you idiot. Heroic death, huh? Against, like, javelin men. Well, congratulations, you're the first to go into every line now. And we got charged over here, and they broke before they even got to us by the look of it. Embarrassing. I'm gonna send my general here. I'm gonna turn all fire at will on everyone that has ammo left. Save this for the last stage of the fight. Yep, nice charge, buddy. That's kind of how I expected it to go. I'm gonna have all my infantry run forward while this guy just dies in the middle to distract. Over here, we're just going to charge the light infantry as a massive pile. They're going to rout, then we'll get in position. And on all of my units that can, fire at will is once again allowed. We shouldn't need anything else here, though. That actually just didn't kill anyone. I saw them throw their javelins and nothing happens. Crazy. Sad to lose a general here. Like, that's a valuable unit, but my only guess is he got pulled into the uh, light infantry, the spearmen. Because otherwise, I don't quite know how he managed to get himself killed. And this guy's doing his job. Actually, well, they're wiped out, but it's still doing his job. But since you have less time than I thought you did, just stack up smaller. Hey, we finally made it through. Anyway, there's like actually nothing left. It's kind of sad. Every time they step out of the square, they instantly route. And I can't be bothered to set this up to be slightly more efficient. We're just going to control a an attack. Oh, there's a guy over here. What's he doing? What's he up to? I want them to draw out, but it won't let me. Anyway, do that. Oh, uh, shit. Apparently I control an aid. Yeah, I didn't mention doing that. Units, cavalry. Units, cavalry. Units, 
Anyway, we still lost 150 men because we're fucking terrible at the game, but most of that, like 30 of it was all generals. And our cavalry is mostly unfazed. All the losses other than that general unit were from Brinkapes, which are easily the least important part of this when we come to large field battles. Anyway, you best believe we're continuing to exterminate and destroy every building, because, I mean, we don't have the ability to man this. We're here to kill units and move. Yeah, we definitely have one broken unit of Brinkapes left after this that can be left behind to garrison and slow down the reconquest by our enemies. If I do this, it's left... Oh. I thought, I thought it was 101 max size. Well, now garrisoning is much harder. That's fine, just don't. Just don't. Set it to very high. What are they gonna do, rebel about it? Destroy everything, we're done with the city. Hey, we have to step out to get the increased movement next turn. Staying inside the city is just terrible. Uh, if somebody wants to stay behind, like just like one guy with high influence to stop it from rebelling for a turn, make it impossible to instantly reconquer, that's fine, but that's not possible. So we're just gonna let it rebel, fuck him. And with all our new money, can we afford some mercs to fill this out? Of course we can. We can get more elephants. They're super good in a fight, I promise. I believe we're done for the turn, then. All right, so Carthage, you're going to actually conquer the city and not stop moving right there, yeah? Did you get blocked by your allies? What was... Why does no one want Thugga? Like, it's a bit annoying that they're at Utica, but at the same time, it's actually not too big of a problem for me because it means that they're split up from the Carthaginian stack and I can move a lot more freely. I guess we'll just smash through him on the way to Carthage. <laughs> Yeah, all told, no particularly important movement down in Africa. Like, sure, Utica is under siege by a full stack, and that matters. But by and large, a lot less than I was expecting. I don't believe we need this guy. We already have two generals at Rome. Nothing else happening particularly important. Sir. Just get out of the Attack. way. Victory. And you're still in the way a little bit. I can kill you with basically no cost. It was a bit annoying, but I think I can do that with just my cavalry pretty much instantly. So let's go. So here's the plan. We just use our cavalry. Literally no one else matters for this. All right, I think there's like actually not a lot left. We just tell them all to charge. And I think that's the match instantly. Yeah. Yeah. Very sad. <laughs> cavalry superiority is a hell of a drug. You lost 20 men, the stack got wiped. Easy peasy. All right, it looks like we might have gotten... Nope, just enemy army routes. I thought that was going to be improved command, but sadly not. Let's tell Carthage to get out of here. They think they can take us. All right, yeah, this army is just a tremendous number of Libyan light infantry and Libyan skirmishers. There's a few others mixed in with the Katrati infantry, but this army looks like something I would build in terms of its composition of just three units in large quantities. Technically, we're even. Just uh, not really a huge fan of you saying that to me. Do I want more elephants? Like... I know they're incredibly expensive. I probably just want two units of skirmishers. I think that's the sensible. Anyway, do you think you can win still? You do? That's cute. Let's go. I mean, you can't take this away. It's an elegant formation. Two wings of infantry, skirmishers on the side to reposition and throw spears and eat flanks that could hit the Prinkapes. Elephants in the middle so that we can potentially reposition and let the elephants charge through. Cavalry wings. It's not a complicated army, but I think this is perfectly sensible. And this is definitely a fight where we're going to have to do a ton of repositioning because of shit like this. Not quite the reason I expect to do repositioning, but it's fine, I guess. All right. So I'm looking at this and I'm feeling like a restructuring of the plan is necessary. Why not just fully switch this around to a cavalry wall with two flanks of infantry? And yeah, let's keep the elephants in the middle. I love that part. I really like how this is forcing the AI to reposition into like this sort of shit the player does, where it's like defending on multiple fronts. It's not that far off from learning how to corner camp properly. Okay, it looks like they're ready to fight. It looks like they didn't enjoy my last movements on the cavalry, but it's fine, right? If they want to fight, we can run in too. Oh, they've changed their mind a little bit. They're like, wait a second, what actually is happening? How surrounded are we? Units! Move this up a little bit. Mo move that up a little bit. Take this one cavalry flank that's at the top of the hill Units! out wide. I think everything's about where I want it right now. Cavalry! Let's move the elephants up and see if this gets a reaction because they'll start being shot by arrows. Missiles! What's this? 
Wait, why are the Libyan skirmishers charging? That's fine. The rest of you move in for javelin range or pylum range, technically. You run forward. You run forward. That's Carthaginian General's bodyguard. Charge there, take this. What am I looking at here? Libyan Light Infantry, Libyan Skirmishers. My cavalry aren't really needed yet. I'm just getting them closer. Yeah, that went predictably poorly for them. My Skirmishers can now reroute to here. You reposition here. Are these Skirmishers? Kill them. What's this? Infantry? Infantry. You just walk backwards. Here you position. What are we seeing here? Pull back entirely. What do we have here? You come to this. You guys pull back. You connect. It looks like we're like grossly out qualified on this side. I'm actually gonna charge all the way forward here. Have I lost track of anything? No. Only that my elephants are too far forward. What's this? Great gods be praised. This is my general generals. Is you are absolutely Fear not supposed to be sticking around here. Our Pull all this back here. This is infantry spearmen. What are you? Also spearmen. I think we're still just generally doing great. Charge in. Charge to here against these light infantry. Actually, they're not occupied presently. Get involved there. Get involved here. Just run this shit down. And these guys can come join the other fight. Wait, my elephant, shit! I need this. Cavalry, since they're just moving around huge blocks of spearmen that I can't really interfere with easily. Actually, that's gonna be handled already. Yeah, the prank campaigns are just so much higher quality than what I'm fighting against. Even on very hard, it barely matters. Although this is uh, light skirmishers. They are not so much better than what they're fighting against, but they also don't need to be. Wipe that out. Come over to do morale stuff. How are you doing? Beats a distinct possibility, huh? Nice. Come over. Uh, where am I cav in this? I know I have cav around here somewhere. Okay, you're one of them, come here, and you're the other one, get that. Based on what's happening, you have to come here instead. You're already charging that, they'll break pretty quickly, the general's dead, they've been fighting for a hot second. Wavering, you're at 20 already, back off. The skirmishers are all but dead. Oh yeah, that did well, obviously. You guys come down here, except for like a couple people in the front, switch to here. None of that really needs to be run down, but those are skirmishers. You may as well make sure that you get stacked white by charging that. We're gonna send some after you, some after you. Just do the control click trick to make sure everything's getting run down. And then send the rest back to charging this, which, by the way, elephants, you don't need to be charging anything in particular. Just run out so you can be shooting people the whole time. Uh, what's not routing? Is it a controlled retreat? It's this. Well, I mean, it's a controlled retreat as well, but it's also that. And triple speed, that's the cleanup. We lost a little bit more than I think I wanted to on the Prinka pace, but other than that, it's gone great. The enemy army is in flight. So this we lost 21% and we killed an army larger than ours? That's pretty solid. How'd that play out exactly? What took the most casualties? Obviously, uh, a lot of my casualties were these skirmishers that didn't matter at all. In fact, they're like half my casualties. So that fight went better than I thought it did. I just lost track of the skirmishers. I didn't realize they were a skirmisher because it's such an unusual formation for me. In terms of casualties inflicted, uh, this general ran down a ton, that general ran down a ton, the Aquites were great. The Principes are also, like it's just whoever was involved in the combat the most. It's not like there's a type of unit. The whole army just works very well together. All right. Considering we have a completely destroyed unit of you now, I guess you can go here. Make it harder to capture. Yeah, they're not going to be happy, though. All I'm doing is slowing them down. I'm a little bit worried that if I come here, I might not be able to leave. If I go there with just my cavalry, I definitely can. But I'm pretty sure I can walk in right away because of this, right? Yeah. 
Oh, they've got hell hits too. Shit. Oh, that's what I can do. Um, I'm going to walk next to them so that they can assist, and I'm going to regroup and go in. There we go. I figured it out. I want to try something stupid. I'm going to tell every single one of my Prinkabays to get exactly right here. And I'm going to set all of them. I'm going to set every single one of them to fire at will. So, how many javelins get thrown when something walks into range? Well, see, that's the neat part. They're in range and I'm not. And we're very densely packed. Fine. I've lost like 80 men for no reason fucking around with these controls, so I just want to know how it'll work. And fine. Like, the issue is the elephants are just hanging out. I can't rely on them to charge me at any specific point. I guess I just entered the command for... Oh, I used my javelin men to bait them out. There we go. That's the plan. Nope, you want to run away. You really, really want to run away, guys. Let's try this again with the elephants and half the manpower. It seems pretty damn good, right? The gods be praised! The enemy general is dead! His men know their doom approaches! So javelins just, like, fucking destroy elephants, which honestly sounds pretty accurate. I feel like that's a part of human history. Anyway, I'm gonna wait for this elephant to get itself killed or get itself irrelevant and then just end this with generals so I can't waste any more units. This could definitely be managed better, but I was trying funny things. End of the campaign strats right here. End battle. You know, we lost like 130 Prinkapes, an amount that was very easy. I like 50 of them were javelin men that I didn't care about, so it's not as bad. And that's going to be the saddest exterminate. Yeah, they're completely out of movement. They can't move. And everything here has to leave. Otherwise, we have problems. It looks like at the end of this, I have three very severely depleted units of Prinkabays that will need to get retrained somewhere. Can I hire a Merc to throw in? I mean, this guy's actually really cheap, isn't he? It's only 600 a turn. Is Bully even upset? Yes, they are upset. They're like, there's not many of them, but the 400 people left are quite upset with me. I will hire this job, Cav. I've got the money for it and see if that can help. Otherwise, you can just riot like you always do. Yeah, no, I'm happy with that. And we'll put a garrison in there next turn. And then we're going to work back and deal with this stack. Anything else that mattered. We're a better commander now. That's good. And this boat's so important. Because originally it was just going to bring stuff back to Rome. But it might be getting a lot of Prinkapades from this army now. Like it's lining up very well. We're taking the Prinkapade from Eryx. The governor and the Prinkapade from Lilybiom. The governor and Lilybiom was great. So they are going to need a second garrison unit. But still, that's not too big of a deal. And this is a ton of reinforcements for that legion that's being depleted right now. Yeah, I can drop off five full units of Prinka base currently. That's fantastic news. Meanwhile, over here with the boats, is that? Oh, it's all been combined. I remember this, it's all been combined. This is gonna get retrained, but it doesn't all have to get retrained. We actually have full units here. We have two full Prinka base, which is great. That's fantastic news. And then it heads back. And both of these are going to line up here as we come back next turn. It's going to be great. The Legion's going to be replenished. We're going to bring back so many wounded Prinkapes for retraining. And we're going to have to go through Sardinia and Corsica, of course, to handle those garrisons as well on the way back. And speaking of retraining at Rome, would you look at that? We've retrained at Rome. I think we're going straight north. In which case, there's no real meaning on getting on the boat. So we're just going to walk north. And next turn, we're going to meet up with this Legion, start conquering Cisalpine Gaul properly. You can really see, like, these fights have finally started to turn around. The addition of bringing garrison units is just such an important change that needed to happen much earlier than it did. And also, the addition of cutting garrisons and settlements that really didn't need them should have happened much earlier as well. And this boat's probably useless, but I'm going to run it down to see if it can't reinforce a navy. It probably won't be meaningful. It's probably just a waste of money, but still. With my spy on this side, I'm going to come into the desert, see if there's any stacks wandering around down here. I don't believe there are. And this spy is just going to keep making its way back along the coast to see what's up over here. How big is this army? It's a complete full stack. Well, 
Put it in the list. Got two units of elephants, huh? Thank God those have been balanced in realism. Otherwise, I'd have serious concerns about that. So the question now is, am I building more units at this exact moment in time, or am I holding my money? Also, can Neapolis recruit garrison units now? It can. It can't. To train this, I need Italic Natives. Does Neapolis not have Italic Natives? Who's native here? Oh, you're Greek. Note to self, check who's native. Unfortunate. I feel like in base RTR, this would still be the criteria to recruit uh, like a shit hoplite, wouldn't it? Like in the original Rome Total Realism, rather than just be like, oh, you can't get Lucadian infantry, you needed Italic Natives, you would get the shit hoplite that was roughly the equivalent for Greek Natives, wouldn't you? I feel like this has been changed in a way that I don't necessarily think is better. And I'm sure there are reasons for it, but I feel like there's something strange about that. It doesn't matter, the plan for building garrison units there didn't work. In which case, I'm going to continue building garrison units because they're cheap, and I'm going to need more of them in the near future. As for infrastructure, I'm not going to live that lie. I know I can't afford it just yet. We have too many armies going around, too much work that needs to be done, I think. Oh, if I zoom out just a little bit, those go away. Neat. I didn't realize that. Anyway, that's it for this turn. They rebelled, but unlike some people, they didn't get a half stack. That looks like one guy, and I've got elephants next to her, so I don't think it'll go great for them. Oh, they gave up on Utica and went for Carthage. There's a rioting somewhere. That checks out. I don't need this husband. City expands. That's infrastructure I can afford. Came of age right after the Legion left, huh? Unfortunate. And civil revolt, because of course. But that's the plan. It's like 400 guys. What are they actually going to do? They have two units. There's another... Hi, elephants. Let me get front with you. I didn't enjoy fighting the elephants last time. You just make the blockade real quick. I'm going to walk here next to all this. I think I just attack like this, right? I don't need to be next to the city. Oh, right. Yeah. Because, yeah. I have to make them retreat first. Unfortunate. Anyway, we can still do it. Can I do a night battle? I really don't want to, but... The city's garrison, but... The revolt was just two units of armored elephants. What are you talking about? Look, I know I haven't treated them well, but are there more javelin men? No, unfortunate. I'm gonna load the end of turn save because I just forgot to do this siege, I think. Yeah, this siege was done. I just forgot about it. Let's try that again. That's what happens when you take a week break between recordings. Oh, you aren't actually an army. You lost the battle previously. Do I have to fight this? No, absolutely not. Victory! Sorry, that's too many people. Exterminate them, not dealing with it. And then we leave behind just the spearmen, right? Low? Not quite. Can you afford a shrine? Repair their stuff, make them a shrine that gets them over 70, and that'll be good enough. Sir! Now, looking at this, I think this lines up almost perfectly. Yeah. Orders. We can send these 26 back to Rome for retraining. We don't need them anymore. The question is, where do we go next? Can we actually make it there? We can make it to Aptua, so we're going to go to Aptua. Maintain siege there. And that's all I messed up last time. The Legion was actually moved. I just forgot that, you know, it's in two pieces right now. Resistance is futile, yada yada. Same rebellion happened. Maybe this time it'll still be two elephants. That was quite funny. This time, the Massilia remembered to conquer my Ungarrison city. That's pretty funny. And instead of seizing Carthage, they walked back to defend their elephants. It's possibly even funnier. Right, so again, actually, more stuff grew this time, which is weird. You didn't grow last time. Bit strange, but okay. Still don't want this guy. Let's start with the easy stuff. This guy's just walking forward. I know there's another settlement over here. You can see the internal border. I think this is an auto-resolve fight. I don't think I have to do this myself. Like, come on, how can I possibly? Good. The best part about prank is they get to auto-resolve them very hard. Leave behind Spear Boy. They did not appreciate that sentiment. Let's see if destroying their buildings makes them happier or not. Shrine to Saturn. They're still absolutely furious. Can I hire any mercs here? Like, are there cheap random... Oh, this is not what I was expecting. They're quite expensive. The Spirit Warband's not too bad. Light Caver, quite cheap. You two are relatively cheap, except for your initial higher cost. Your Lord. Hold up. The Spear Warband. Oh, that wasn't the Spear Warband. This is the Spear Warband. Okay, that makes more sense. 
4,000 to recruit, but like not that much. And the garrison's not gonna be too bad, I think. And I just need them for now. The Spear Warband's gonna be here to garrison. That does it. And now we can walk this way and figure out where that next settlement is. Start the siege. And this pushes the boy out of Sisalpan Gull. They're gonna still exist up here, of course, but that's not my problem. Until their Doomstock arrives in 15 turns. But the campaign's ending right now, so who cares? And in a normal campaign, that's just like a funny thing where you need to send a diplomat and ask them what they want. Sure. I'm gonna start scouting around with my diplomat that's just funny. to see where cities are over here. I've never actually looked at this part of the map, really. And it looks like conquering that is on the docket for us in the near future. I Next up, we're going to come down here and not quite drop everyone off. I swear there's a lot of people who aren't supposed to be leaving right now. But like all these generals and full stack Rinkapes, you guys are good. That's a full army right there. That can win fights. I also think I want one of these spearmen each going to Carthage and Utica, because those will be worth more taxes in those territories probably. Is that even, it's not even worth doing. Well, they'll move on to be garrisons for other stuff in the future. Fuck it. <laughs> that one's completely out of move speed. It's fine. I've just messed up the logistics a little bit. We're going to start heading up towards Corsica and Sardinia. Over here. Similar story. I don't have any generals with this army, though. And they can't even get off the boat yet. But we're still planning on dropping them off. We're doing a lot of regrouping over here. Hilariously, these three guys can just make it to the boat, so get them out of here if they don't need to come on the fight. It looks like they still have a shitload of elephants. Alright, I'm gonna come here. It's still two elephants in there. That's crazy. It's very frustrating. They're all against the city, so I can't chase anyone down. So the play is actually just to come do a night attack then, right? I have no alternative. Otherwise, I have to fight, like, five units of elephants at once or something crazy, I think. So, we're gonna use a night attack, throw a bunch of javelins at elephants, and this should be relatively quick. So the really important question here is, are they gonna walk forward to shoot at me, or are they actually going to charge me? Because I don't know what elephant AI does. Last time they were content to hang out, and it looks like they are this time too. What I'm gonna do is just give a move command and stop once we're in range. Oh, that didn't go well at all. Well, I guess we're stabbing the elephants and seeing how that works. It looks terrible. I, I don't understand sometimes. I guess we won. So what was the wounds like that? 110. That's fucking fair considering how badly managed that was. We have some more people to put on the boat now, I guess. Or maybe more accurately, we have fewer people to bring with the army, right? Exterminate them again, all 20 of them. Immediately start the next attack. That's just four units of elephants, what are you talking about? They repelled and they got six units of elephants? All right, look, I'm gonna be clear with you. That's a bug report is what that is. Is apparently if Numidia rebels and they have no population, the game's like, well, the only unit small enough is elephants. So we're gonna give them six units of elephants instead of anything else. That is so obviously insane. Where the fuck did these people get 150 elephants from? It was a population of 400. I've been going for about 50 minutes now. I think I've pretty concretely proved we have all of this handled. Like, you've seen me wipe out several other armies that actually had infantry. I think I win this with cavalry alone. Let's attack this real quick. Push them back, too. Uh, I want to just test this. This is going to be what I wrap up with. This army has no military, right? It's all ranged units. I think I can win that just with the cavalry charge. But I wanna go see what charging cavalry into elephants looks like to end this campaign. Cause this is too funny not to be the last thing I do. All right, so there's only one way we could ever do this, which is just everything charges their own unit of elephants and it's gonna, it's gonna go great. It's gonna be perfect. Two units of cavalry definitely beat one unit of elephants pretty consistently, right? They're weak to javelins. How could they be good against horses? We sort of just ran up to him and stopped. It's actually go. Oh. Uh, bail now. You have no reason to continue fighting the moment it breaks. So, um. This actually turned out to be pretty good, apparently. Although, interestingly, that's not what I told you to do. Is it because of lock that happens? Yes, lock formation is what causes things to break a little bit. Wow. That was really effective. That. 
I thought this was gonna go terribly and be a funny note to end all, but we just crushed them. Uh, we we should have like not just let them leave though. This is not stack wiping them, so this is more a test of elephants because they're just still running away. We didn't kill anything. They all made it out. That was not a stack wipe at all. So I've decided to do this again because I should actually probably just test what is it like to try to run down elephants with cavalry. I just want to know the answer to that question. And at this point, I think I'm already in a position where I'm happy to start doing silliness. And this time I'm just gonna let the charge commands go and see what happens as they try to run them down. I'm curious. The gods be praised. Well, that was funny physics. The general is dead. No, continue. Run them down. See if you can. It seems like it went pretty well, right? I mean, our losses are catastrophically higher. And this these elephants are doing work as they flee. Like it's definitely really dangerous to try to run down a berserking elephant. Holy fuck. Maybe I wouldn't recommend trying to stop. <laughs> guys, guys, <laughs> guys, come on. I believe in you. <laughs> You're embarrassing me in front of all the Romans. Uh, I really enjoyed this RTR campaign. I do think it's a very, very fun mod. Oh, oh my god, they actually just lost. Guys, we need help. We need backup. This elephant's unstoppable. <laughs> the other one's all routed. This one's out for blood. I don't know, those guys just couldn't handle it for some reason, but yeah, you can run down elephants with cavalry effectively, surprisingly. But under absolutely no circumstances should you ever try to run down a berserking elephant. Also, it still wasn't enough to stack wipe them. Although, to be fair, stack wiping a stack of nothing but elephants is pretty hard by definition. Anyways, like I was saying, I really enjoyed this campaign. There's a lot about Rome Hill Realism and Pure Games Directum that I really, really like. There's some things about it that feel clunky in ways to me. For instance, I don't understand how area of recruitment works. Because, like, I would assume that if I get Italic Natives to get the Lucanian Infantry Spearmen, then logically there should be a thing from this place where you get Greek Hoplites, because that's how the original Rome Total Realism works. And I literally don't know how area recruitments have been implemented in Imperium's Rectum. I can't seem to find clear guides on exactly how that works. And the answer might just be it's literally not a mechanic. I, honest to God, don't know if regional recruitment's really a thing. I don't know that if I had played this for another 40 turns, I would ever be able to recruit elephants in these places like Hadrumentum that actually have them. Anyways, I have a lot more to learn about this mod, but I'll be waiting until 0.6 to try out a bunch of new factions. That way, when I start winning and go to Greece, I don't feel like I'm playing the wrong game like I currently do. But I think I've proven that this campaign is off to an incredible start if I were to continue playing. We're decisively winning against Numidia and Carthage in Africa. We've taken Sardinia and Sicily, United, or almost United Italy. Don't, don't look at these rebels down here. We just haven't gotten to them yet. And we're on our way to steamrolling through Sisselpine Gaul. These factions really can't compete with you. Sisselpine Gaul is a weird one. Like, I could have conquered it a lot earlier, but at the same time, the settlements would never grow as fast if I had them. So, in a weird sort of way, your long-term economy might be better if you don't conquer them. I don't know how I feel about that. Very hard causes weird stuff like that to happen, though. Anyways, for now, I'm done. I'm looking forward to playing more Rome Total Realism in the future with 0.6. But I'm going to wait for that. I'm too hyped for that and all the changes to Greece to actually want to play before that hits, unfortunately. In the near future, I'll be uploading content for either Total Warhammer 3 or a mod testing campaign for XCOM 2 that'll fall somewhere between 7 episode meme campaign and 100 episode slog. I'm not sure right now. I need to edit the last 5 episodes of this and then we'll see how I'm feeling. I think I'm going to do Total Warhammer 3, at least for a short introductory campaign where I learn the basic mechanics. And that's mostly because a lot of people are working on exciting bot stuff right now, and I want to let all of that get developed before I run a mod testing campaign. But regardless, for now, and with regards to Rome Total Realism, Imperium Rectum 0.5, I'm done. I've been Rather Incoherent. Thank you for watching. Thank you to the mod team for making such an awesome mod. Thank you to my one Patreon supporter, Jeffrey B. And hopefully, I'll see all of you in whatever comes next.